Hi, in this video I want to show you what orientation control can do for you. But let's start with a quick overview. We've got the scripts in JavaScript and C Sharp. We've got one example scene for each. We've got our GUI resources split into 100% and 200% folders. We've got an orientation control prefab for each language and the 3D assets of the example scene. Let's load into the scene and have a look at what orientation control does. We've got a logo that always stays in the center of the screen a button that always stays in the upper right of the screen and a strip that always spans the bottom of the screen. When I say always, I mean at every orientation and at every resolution and on retina displays in double resolution. So how is all of this being done? Let's have a look at the orientation control component. Up here, you select which orientations you want to support. If you only want landscape left and landscape right, uncheck the other two and the game will only rotate from landscape to landscape. Then put all your cameras in here and set up the field of view you want these cameras to have in portrait and landscape orientation. What happens then is that orientation control calculates a matrix that you can use for positioning your GUI and to make touch and mouse input orientation independent. In short, apply the GUI matrix to GUI.matrix at the beginning of on GUI and transform your input by the inverse of this matrix to translate it into the same coordinate system. The example GUI and example input scripts show you how to do this. As a bonus, these also show you how to make any GUI work with Retina displays. In short, all GUI resources will be loaded from the path specified here and orientation control offers some functions that will let you use the same code for both resolutions. The two example scripts will show you several different ways to do this, just choose whichever one fits you best. For a complete game interface that uses this system, check out GUIKit1 on GameAssets.net.